In part four, I want to give you an introduction into the great new feature of Lyric Pro called Conditional Transitions. This is the powerful feature that evaluates many different conditions of a scene and then depending on the condition will execute a response. No, you don't have to be a code writer, so please stay tuned. I have been working on this Upper Live Super, so let's continue with it to show the power of conditional transitions. In part three, we animated the Live group and the Breaking News group as separate animations. Using the Conditional Transition Manager, we are able to set rules on how this animates onto the screen depending on the text content in the scene. For instance, if you leave the Breaking News text template field blank, a condition can be set to just animate the red bar in Live. If the Live text template is left blank, the same scene will animate just the white bar in text. And the third condition is both the Live and the Breaking News animating. Okay, first of all, let's assume the effect out is the same for each condition. To make this easy, group all the layers together in the scene graph and name it Top Group. Now delete the animations we made in the effect out and just add this single group. Make a quick animation that moves off to the left and add an ease out on the beginning keyframe. Now we are ready to start making the three effect in animations. A new feature that saves you a lot of time is the ability to copy one timeline animation and create a new one. We already created the effect in animation in the last tutorial, so Let's use that one to create the three new ones. Right click on the effect in and select copy transition. Let's name it both in, meaning both the live and the breaking news effect onto the output. Right click again, select copy transition and let's name this one live in. Do it a third time and name it breaking news in. Now let's go back and delete the effect in as we do not need it anymore. So what we have just done is create three new animations by copying the original. These three new transitions will look at the condition of the scene and decide which one will be the effect in. Let's first adjust the animations. The both in is already complete, so go to the live in and let's start changing it. If we delete the keyframes from the end of the white group, it will not animate on and therefore it is now complete. So let's move to the third and final breaking news in. If we delete the end keyframe from the red group, it won't animate, so technically we are done. But I'm not quite happy with the resting place and the mask covering the breaking news bar as it comes onto the screen. So first thing, move the mask off to the left, then delete the keyframe at 10 frames on the white group. Move the ending keyframe into 20 frames to keep its animation the same length as the others. Now let's adjust the landing place at the 20 frame mark a little over to the left. There, we have quickly made three new effect ins from the original. Now let's apply some conditions to the scene. The idea behind the conditional transitions is that the single live breaking news scene can be used for three different scenarios instead of building three separate scenes, making it easy for users to pick only one instead of three choices. The conditions we are going to apply to the scene look at the content of the text fields, as I said before. If the breaking news text is left blank, the scene will come on showing the live text in red bar. If the live text is left blank and the breaking news text is present, then the effect in is just the breaking news text, and if both the live and the breaking news text is present, then both will affect on. Okay, navigate to the transition properties and click on the conditional transition button. This menu was designed so you could add rules and move across the menu from left to right. If a rule is met, then the response will occur in the scene. Add a rule and rename it Live In. Click the play check mark because we want the condition to work when we play the scene to air. Now select condition type as content and click add. We are doing this because we want to check the content of a text template. Once you check the Add button, the two text templates will appear to the right in the template list. Since we want just the live bar to come onto the screen by itself, we will check to see if the breaking news template has anything in it. To do that, highlight the breaking news and click Internal under Scenes to check. 
which means we are checking the scene we just read. Now under the text compare function, click on the nothing box. So this is saying to look at the breaking news template and if there is nothing, go to the next step. The next step is in the right part of the menu. This is where you tell the scene which effect on to select. In this case, the live in if all rules are correct. The effect out of this message can be just the effect out because that is the way we designed the scene. You can now see that we could have also made three different effect outs. Okay, so now to the next rule. This one will check to see if there's any text in the live text template. So everything is the same as before, but we are just checking to see if the live text template contains nothing. Add a new rule, rename it to breaking news in, and click the play button. Now select condition type as content. Add it and now select live. Click internal and click on nothing. Now go to the rule response and select the effect in as breaking news in and the effect out as effect out. Okay, one more rule to add to the scene and we're finished. Select add and rename it to both in. Click on the play button. Select content and add. Now select both text templates in the list and check internal. For this one though, we want to say contains anything. If it is true, then the effect in should be both in and the effect out set as effect out. Record this scene to number four. Okay, we are finished, so let's test it. Read the scene and erase the breaking news text. Now play it to air. In this case, we just see the live effect on and there is no white bar. Shift plus F10 and it affects off. We made the effect out a hotkey in the previous tutorial. Now read it again and delete the live text. Play to error and just the breaking news effects onto the screen. Read the scene again and make sure both the live and the breaking news text is present. Now the scene affects on with both. So there you have it. A single scene can be used for three different situations and execute correctly to error every time. In just a few seconds we added some conditional transition rules to a scene without writing a single line of code.